Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury, and today, guys, I want to introduce a new product. A new product. It's called Ulo. Now, what is Ulo? It's a digital business cards social platform that helps consumers and businesses get connected. It helps promote products and services all within a single professional network. Now, Ulo was designed and built by the best. It's built by ex Pebble engineers who pioneered in the smartwatch market. And um, they raised funds via a Kickstarter project. If you struggle to stay in touch with your customers, Ulo solves such problems by collecting your contacts, enabling payments, and maintaining the conversations all within a single professional network. Guys, click on the QR code, take a look yourself, Ulo, Ulo, that's right guys, Ulo, check it out. I'm Archie Luxury, I'm gonna give it a try myself. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury and welcome to the Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing a paid, this is a question, considering a trade, call a friend. This is paid review 23QA3, quick wristwatch check, I'm wearing my bluesy Submariner. Let's have a look at this and let's save this guy from disaster. Archie, really enjoy your channel and candid thoughts. That said, I'm considering the following trade, but would also like to have an expert opinion uh, with fee to follow on PayPal. Number one, I bought a 2005 Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore, reference 25854TI, perpetual calendar, moon phase, titanium bracelet, Recent AP service, board fire Sotheby's for 27500 all in after fees. Con condition is essentially new, no scuffs, nicks, etc. No box or papers. Uh, considering sending to AP for, ver for authentication, it's a white face. And he said he was offered a trade for a new 12-22, so December 22. Ulysses Narden Freak. Titanium Torbian Automatic. I like the wearable size and thickness of the Ulysses Narden. The Rue is so thick by design, but I think I could sell the Rue, pocket some money, and buy something else too. What's your professional opinion? Now, I immediately came back to this guy the same day and said, Stay away from Ulysses Narden. Stay away. Are you out of your mind? Very stupid idea. That's what I said to him. Very stupid idea. Now, the best way to check what is the opinion on this would be to jump on chrono 24 and although chrono prices tend to be a little bit inflated if you'll check both watches out in the same marketplace you can see what the feel is and i i gotta tell you the audemars piguet perpetual calendar i wouldn't be swapping that for a ulysses Narden freak that is absolutely crazy the big problem is with doing this is the fact that Ulysses Narden is really a soft, softish brand. AP is one of the best brands in the industry. What have you got? The Holy Trinity, Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, Basher, and Constantine. By God, Ulysses Narden is nowhere near this sort of echelon. Now, I know it's a tourbillon, etc., etc., but I'll tell you in, in all honesty, um, nobody wants the Ulysses Narden. You try and sell that to a dealer, he will skin you alive. Selling an AP perpetual calendar that's had recent service, hey, that's another story. That's a different sort of game. So, to be totally honest with you, I would be sticking with my Royal Oak, uh, your AP. Now, I don't understand it. You you bought this AP, but now you say, oh, it's a bit big, it's a bit... My God, <clears throat> wouldn't you have done your research before you started bidding on it at auction? I mean, that's a very substantial watch. It's certainly not cheap. Uh, it seems like you got it at a, a good price there. Uh, I assume that's US, or what is that? Um, but anyhow, the thing is, the Royal Oak... <laughs> is the potential for that is that it's very expensive to service. I can understand that. You might want to get out of it. But I wouldn't be doing sideways 
swaps. I think, to be honest with you, the Ulysses Narden shit. You don't want to own that stuff. You don't want to own. If you do want the Ulysses Narden, you get rid of the Royal Oak, the Rue. Get rid of that Royal Oak offshore first, and then you bargain down on the Ulysses Narden because they're a very soft sell. You'd have to be insane to do a swap. And I I can't, I just can't fathom. You're an intelligent guy. Normally somebody who has $27,500 to buy something can work it out. Ulysses Narden itself there, they don't have a lot of um, tourbillons up for sale there, but they're going to be a hell of a lot cheaper, the saleability. Having a look at this 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 Royal Oak here, they're going for 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 big money, really big money. So I I, I, I don't understand how how this is even something you would even contemplate. Uh, the Ulysses Narden is that's a mistake. That is a mistake you will never get out of the the Royal Oak. You'll always, it's a strong brand, perpetual calendar. It's an amazing watch. Phew, there is no way in the world I'd be doing a swap for that. That is just a deal of fishing. That's a deal of fishing. If you want the, 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 the freak, sell the AP first, then you could do something stupid. As long as you buy that freak cheap enough, uh, it's not terrible. But nobody wants that brand. That brand... Dealers hate Ulysses Narden. Pre-owned dealers, they don't muck around. They'll tell you the truth. Try and sell one of those. They are toxic sludge. Toxic sludge. So, very much so, don't do it. Keep the AP. You'd have to be insane, insane to do that sort of swap. Um, so, it... it as I said there, if you want the Ulysses Narden, you'd sell the AP first, then buy that for pennies in the dollar. Because nobody really wants that watch. Nobody really does want that watch. So, there you go. That is my advice. Guys, guys, please don't do stupid things. Don't do stupid things like that. If you need advice, I'm available for consultancy. Look down below in the description. You can email me at archieluxury72 at gmail.com. archieluxury72 at gmail.com. And I'm happy to answer queries like that. Save you from doing stupid things, man. That is just completely off the face of the earth dumb so um guys that's my opinion i'm archie luxury like subscribe and tell your friends put some comments below and i will see you in the next one okay guys don't do silly swaps you'll lose your shirt hi guys it's archie luxury Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, re I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers.
The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below. And I will see you in the next one. Yeah.